Hey what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a music shop. This place really reminds me of an old fashioned record store with a Minecraft twist. Oh, I've also designed the interior for this place and I'll be including it in the video as well. And that's really all I have to say, if you enjoy builds like this please do give the video a like, I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe for more, comment down below what else would you like to see next, if you make it and you want to show me a picture of it. Follow me on Twitter and do exactly that, at TSMC360. Check out the cards in the description below for all of my other things, and I think that that is probably just about it guys, so why don't I actually show you how to make this amazing looking little music shop. So if you want to make it, here's what you'll need. Grab yourself some spruce wood planks, some oak wood planks, some oak wood stairs, some cyan hardened clay, some yellow hardened clay, some grey hardened clay, some hardened clay, some black stained glass paint, and some black wool. Plus we'll need every single other one of these materials that I have in my inventory right now now and we will need even more than this later on once we begin the inside but for now grab everything that you see once you have it and once you've figured out where you want to make it i'll begin my build right here you're going to want to kick this off with a row of five spruce wood planks coming directly up from the ground that's one two three four and five just like that you then want to take block number three in your row of five, which is the middle one, this one right here, and you want to go left of it by two with your oak wood stairs, that's one and two. Then connect it down to the ground with oak wood planks, like that. Then you want to take out your spruce wood fence and your oak wood slab, and you want to do a spruce wood fence in front of the oak wood planks, and you want to do oak wood slabs in front of the oak wood stairs, like that. And then you can just throw those materials back away and grab out what you had before. We then want to take the bottom oak wood plank here, and we want to go left of it by one with your spruce wood plank. Then going left, do two upside down oak wood stairs. One, two. Then do a spruce wood plank. Then do two upside down oak wood stairs. One, two. Then do a spruce wood plank. Then, looking back at what you've just made, right here, you want to go left of this, like going towards the back of the build, and you want to do two upside down oak wood stairs, that's one and two, then do a spruce wood plank, two oak wood stairs, two upside down oak wood stairs I should say, then one spruce wood plank, then do three regular oak wood planks, that's one, two, three, then do a spruce wood plank, and then look back at what you've just made. Once you've done that, you then want to go left of this spruce wood plank, so like coming across the back of our record store now, and you want to do two oak wood planks, that's one and two, then a spruce wood plank. Then go left by two with the upside down oak wood stairs, that's one and two. Then do a spruce wood plank. Then do two upside down oak wood stairs, one, two. Then do a spruce wood plank. You then want to move inwards by one, and you want to place a hardened clay. You then want to go left of that hardened clay with your grey hardened clay, and then go left with your hardened clay. You then want to go in front of this, so coming towards the front of your store, and you want to do a grey hardened clay, then a hardened clay, grey hardened clay, hardened clay, grey hardened clay, hardened clay, grey hardened clay, Hardened clay until you are just one block behind the actual entrance and then connect to the entrance by doing a grey hardened clay, hardened clay like this. So this is the sort of shape that you're looking for. What you now want to do is you want to go up on top of each one of these spruce wood planks that we have around and you want to do two spruce wood planks up on top of each one of those. So it'll look like one, two, one, two, one, two. One two, one two, one two, one two, one two, one two. On top of the upside down oak wood stairs, you want to do two layers of black stained glass pane. So everywhere you can, place black stained glass pane on top of the upside down stairs. But do remember where you place the stairs and where you place the planks, because in the back corner, the back left hand corner especially of your little music shop, we want to place oak wood planks on top of oak wood planks. So this back corner is pretty much the only place you want to fill in with oak wood planks, like that. That's perfect. 
Now, once you've got that taken care of, we're now going to raise up this right-hand part of the music shop. So, this right-hand part of the music shop is a note block. It's supposed to either like be a note block or a jukebox, and it comes all the way out of the side of this place, and it really gives this place a nice musical feel. So, we want to go up on top of this hardened clay block and we want to do eight blocks in total and we want to carry on the pattern so we'll want to do a gray hardened clay followed by a hardened clay in total until we've went up by eight i'll show you what i mean you want to do a gray hardened clay that's one hardened clay two gray hardened clay three hardened clay four five six seven eight like that we then want to take this eighth block and we want to go left by eight so remember that's one two three four five six seven eight like that and what we then want to do is we want to come to the back corner and we want to do a similar thing we want to go up by one two three four five six seven eight and then we want to come across by what oh that's the wrong block one two three four five six seven eight and then we want to connect to the front with the exact same pattern. You guys can kind of see where this is going. And then we want to fill the side of this in with the pattern. And we want to fill the top of this in with the pattern as well. So it's just a normal checkerboard pattern. It's just a chessboard pattern. Whatever you want to say. It's just a repeating pattern of alternating two different blocks together. And you want to fill the side of this in. And then you want to fill the top of it in. We'll fill in the like the front and the back of this in a little bit later on after we've actually put the roof on because there are two uh there is a little bit of a roof situation that we're going to have to deal with but you guys know how to fill this in i'm sure that you won't have too much trouble doing it we've just got to get this taken care of so there we go then we've just got to add this layer here and then we will have to add just one final layer right there okay so we have a nice little pattern like that that is absolutely wonderful now the next thing we're going to do is we are you know what we can do actually where we have the to like the two blocks here coming inwards towards the center of the shop we can raise these up with the pattern as well so we can kind of like connect it to uh to the inside of the shop but we don't want to do any more of the pattern until we have the roof on because the next part of this is going to be just filling uh filling this in where we have to we don't want there to be too much of the note block if we don't have to add it so we just want to have something which should now look like that. Now let's add the actual proper roof on. I'll show you how it looks. So we want to do this. We want to, going left of these two upper hand spruce wood planks just right at the entrance, we want to do a layer of cyan stained clay that comes all the way left from across these two spruce wood planks it comes all the way left this cyan stained clay and it overhangs the left of the shop by one row like that it then comes towards the back of the shop sitting on top of the back of the shop like you can see what i'm talking about like it sits on top of the actual frame of the back of the shop right and it comes all the way to this wood back here and we then want to add the second layer of cyan stained clay on top of this as you can see me doing here I'm now going to take out the yellow hardened clay and in front of the two first cyan stained clay blocks I'm going to place a vertical row of yellow hardened clay and then I'm going to extend the lower yellow hardened clay all the way over to the left like that. Then I'm going to come to the back and I'm going to do a similar thing so yellow hardened clay coming vertically down here and then I'm going to extend that across the shop so you'll end up with a look that should well look a little bit like this and that looks quite nice really. We're now going to extend the note block down. We're going to extend the corners down until the corners come as far down as this or at here. So we want to extend the corners of the note block down until it just sits where the roof would sit. And then we can actually fill the center or we can actually fill the walls of the note block in because now 
we know where it's going to sit in relation to the roof and we don't have to make more than we have to and this is going to give the shop a a much bigger feel it's also going to be where we place some lighting on the inside um the hanging ceiling light is actually all hanging from i'm using black wall again silly me um the ceiling light actually hangs from inside of the note block so uh, you guys will see what i'm talking about anyway once we actually begin the inside but the fact that there's less roof is definitely better and now we're just going to fill in this part of the roof here with cyan hardened clay we're just going to have this completely filled in like that and now we have most of the outside of our shop done it looks quite nice now let's add a couple of nicer bits onto this so um, we're going to now need the cauldron the jungle leaves some flowers some grass blocks we'll also need wooden trap doors we even need some buttons wooden buttons preferably so in front of each one of these bottom spruce wood planks on the front we're going to place a grass block in front of them and then in front of that grass block, we're going to place a wooden trap door. And then we're going to place an orange tulip or whatever flower it is you want on top. If you like, you can also add wooden trap doors to like left and right of the blocks. But it's not really that necessary. I just like it on the front. Also, place buttons above the flowers just on the wall like that. Right at the entrance, place a cauldron with a jungle leaf on top. It looks like a nice little plant. You might also want to go around the sides of the shop and you may want to place like more buttons around the sides like wherever you have the spruce wood and since we do have a back to the shop here you may feel the need to add even more flowers so um, behind the spruce wood on the back you might want to add some more flowers around the shop just to make it a little bit more interesting around the back and you might also want to add maybe a pot of plant around here somewhere it's, that's kind of up to you i'm not going to add one um you might also want to add some on the side as well although i'm not going to i'm going to leave that i'm going to have them on just the front and the back just like that now the one thing that we're missing actually is here in front of the note block up front we have a few mu a few musical notes so starting from the front top left hand corner of the note block which is here we want to take these four center blocks at the top corner and we want to place black wall in front of them take the upper right hand corner of the black wall extend it up by two one two then right by one there's your first note we then leaving a gap of two from the bottom right hand corner of the note block we want to place another note block so that's a row of four black wall and then we take the top upper right hand corner black wall we raise it up by two right by one then we take the bottom right hand corner of this note we leave a gap of two we then do a little square of four black wall and then we take the top upper right hand corner of the block we extend it up by one right by one or, or by two right by one and there you have the outside of the shop and it's actually fitting in quite nicely with the end of our street i think it's kind of a nice unique thing to put on the corner of our street or at least i think so you guys you guys might not think the same way but i think it's it's a nice little addition why don't we head inside now so inside here to begin the inside we're just going to want to grab some like spruce wood fence and we'll want some like redstone lamps and some but, well, we can't really use block of redstone, actually. Um, but we can use uh, levers. So, in here, I want some hanging lights. And I want them to be hanging redstone lamps. And I want them to hang from the top of the note block. So, I want them to hang from the top of the note block. And I want them to be spaced in between each other. I want them an equal amount of space from the edge of the note block and from the... Uh, from the edge of the note block and from each other as well. So they're now one away from Everywhere they're one away from every single side and now I'm going to connect them to the ceiling with spruce wood fence And this is going to give us some light I'm going to use levers to light the top of these because it doesn't really matter like you're not going to see them anyway So it doesn't really matter what you use to light these uh, In what position or anything like it, it doesn't matter at all So as a matter of fact you could even have like one either side in the middle and you could have like free hanging uh, free hanging like spruce wood fence 
and that might be kind of like a little cool effect. You might even want to place like an extra row of lamps or something like that, just to kind of give a bit of a different feel, or you might not, it's kind of up to you, maybe we have kind of like a little jigsaw light, I don't know guys, do, do whatever you like, um, it's, it's really kind of individual what you want to do for the lighting, it's just not that important. But that will actually alone give you quite a bit of a light in here, I quite like that. Uh, also, for the inside, something you might want to do is you might just want to add like a like a yellow hardened clay rim that goes all the way around um, the edge of the inside of this place. You might want to just add that, or you might not. You might not want to add any yellow stained clay here. Um, it's kind of up to you whether you do that. And Or, you know what, we could actually knock out above the windows, it won't affect anything, and we can have yellow stained clay here. And you might also want to kind of just place, like, um, cyan stained clay, or, or, I'll tell you what we could do, here's a thing, I'm kind of just doing this as I do it. Um, you might want to extend the note block down by one row so that it kind of connects a little better. Maybe that's something that you could do if you really wanted to, do, just so that it kind of connects with the room a little bit better. I think, uh, I think I kind of like that actually. There we are, that looks okay. Now, for the inside of this room, I'm going to begin by destroying the floor completely. The floor's not that big. Um, I'm going to make it, I think, you know what? In the original version of this, I made it out of stone slabs, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I am going to have stone slabs leading into the store, but I think I'm going to make the floor like... Red stained clay kind of strikes me as good. I might, I'm going to have the floor red stained clay because I think that it'll actually look quite good as that. This store's like small enough that I, I don't mind actually showing you guys this on recording. I don't think that this is going to be incredibly long and I think that red stained clay as a floor looks kind of nice. I, uh, I really like it. Red's my favourite colour. I definitely like using it as flooring. Um, it's kind of up to you whether you want to do the same thing. You could even do a similar thing, uh, except you could like put a boarding around the floor. If you find that you find carpet boring, which is essentially what this is, it's like a red carpet, except it's not like the block carpet, but it is carpet because you guys get the point. It's a carpet effect. Um, you might want to go like do a border around it, maybe some oak wood planks or something. But this is the inside, it's all lit up, let me get rid of everything and let me show you what you're going to need to actually make the inside. Okay, so I think I have all of the materials we need for the inside. To begin, we're going to need dark oak blanks, some dark oak stairs, some wooden trapdoors, some jukeboxes, we'll need some item frames, black wall, net brick fence, quartz stairs, and some weighted pressure plates. Plus, we need everything else in the inventory, but we're going to start with this. So, in this back left-hand corner of the store, where we don't have any, like, where it's all wood and where we don't have any windows, this is where um, you would pay for your stuff. So, we're going to begin by taking this spruce wood plank right at the back, next to these two oak wood planks and we're going to extend it out of the wall coming up front by three with the upside down dark oak stairs like this. We're then going to place a dark oak wood plank behind that with a wooden trap door behind that with an upside down dark oak wood stairs behind that in this position. We're then going to place a quartz stairs right on top of the very first upside down dark oak wood stairs we placed, and we're going to do two weighted pressure plates to the left of the register. That's what that is. Coming across this back wall, we're just going to have upside down dark oak wood stairs. We're going to place jukeboxes on top of the two centre blocks. We're going to place a never brick fence coming out of the left hand side of the jukebox. Item frames in front of the jukebox with black wool inside. And then we're going to take out some new materials. We're going to need our flower parts, red tulips, cauldrons, oak fence, chest, blue hardened clay, some oak wood slabs, some signs. And we're going to place some oak fence to the left and right. Oh, well, I just done goofed. Um, to the left and right of the jukeboxes. I'm just going to replace what I broke. And here we have, it kind of looks like a radio, or at least it does to me. I, I like to imagine it's a radio. Uh, on the front left hand corner of this place, we're going to place a flower pot with a red tulip in there. That's looking pretty good if I do say so myself. And what we're now going to do, now that we've done the little area that you'd pay and stuff, the cash register and the till and all that stuff, uh, we're now going to make the area where you would like get all of your records and stuff. Like imagining that this is kind of like an old-fashioned music shop 
because I don't think that new music shops really exist because everything's online. Um, we're going to make some bins that like records would be kept in. So we'll need some dark oak wood planks for this as well. We're going to do a row of dark oak wood planks that is in line with this row of spruce wood planks in between the two windows on the left hand side of the build. It's one row away and it comes from this left hand side and it comes all the way to the entrance except it's 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 this big right so it starts one row away from the wall right in the middle of the wall and it comes as far as the spruce wood on the front of the build we're then going to do cauldrons either side of this row like this which leaves us enough room to navigate the room we're going to place chests on either end we're going to place a chest on the very left and very right of the row of dark oak wood we're going to place oak wood fence in between them We'll place some item frames on either side of the rows of oak. And we are going to do some signs going all the way around the outsides of the cauldrons. Like, they're going to go all the way around the outsides. And, um, yeah, it, it... No, actually, it'll just go on the outside of the cauldron, like, left and right. It doesn't actually have to go around the entire thing. In the original version of this, I kind of, like, had it wrap around the side as well, and I kind of liked it. But I'm not sure I like it anymore. I, uh... I'll, I'll still do it, but I'm not sure how much I like that. What we're now going to do is we're just going to add a little similar thing in this back corner here, just, like, next to the entrance. So, um, next to the entrance, just in this little backhand corner, we're going to do, like, two cauldrons here. And then we will place a chest on top of this right-hand cauldron. Left of it, we'll place an oak wood fence with an item frame in front of that fence. And then we'll just place some, like, signs going around what we've just made around the bottom. That looks pretty good. Uh, now, we're just going to need some dark oak wood stairs, and I'm um, leaving a gap of one between what we've just made. Um, we're going to place a blue hardened clay, then we'll go left by two of the stairs, and then a blue hardened clay. Then moving through the wall, coming across the back now, we're going to place a blue hardened clay, two stairs, a blue hardened clay, like this. We're going to place jukeboxes on top of each one of the blue hardened clays, like that. Or as a matter of fact, you know, this seat's actually a little bit big. What we... Hmm, how, should I, how should I alter this? I know how to alter this. We'll place a dark oak wood stair here. Where we have the spruce wood, we're going to place our blue hardened clay with a jukebox on top of it. This is laid out a little bit different to the original, but I actually kind of like it anyway. Um, I'm going to place item frames with black wool in front of the jukeboxes. These are supposed to represent speakers, like this. And this is just a nice little chill out area. And we just want a little bit of a coffee table or some sort of like table to just kind of like, just imagine that you're here, you sit back and you just put your feet upon the table. That's, that's all that this place is supposed to be. And all we have to do now is we just have to take out all of these records and we just have to place them in the item frames. So, this is all we're doing. These are like the bins that you'd shuffle through if you've ever seen it in like a movie or what have you, because I've not actually seen it in real life. And um, these are the bins that you'd like shuffle through and you'd look for records. And um, if you wanted to, on the signs, the purpose of those is you could actually like identify like who you wanted to get. Um, so, like, you could write on this, like, I don't know, like, Justin Bieber as if he'd be released on a record, or, you know, whoever you wanted, like, on these signs. But there you go, guys, that's the music shop. I, I hope that you like this one. Uh, we have, uh, we have a pretty nice little music shop here. Uh, why don't I take off the UI, and why don't we have a little bit of a look at this thing? Not, not that there's, like, a massive amount to look at here, but if we were to come inside... Then we just have uh, we just have a nice place that we can grab our music. We have a nice place that we can sit and chill out. And if we wanted to buy any records, what have you, then we just have that up front. Like there's not too much to see from the inside, but there you go. That's how it's supposed to look. If you enjoyed this video, guys, I'd really appreciate it if you could give this video a like. I really, really would. I worked hard on this one. I think it looks great. I think it looks like a really cool Minecraft music shop. <laughs> which uh, sounds kind of weird to say, a Minecraft music shop. That should exist in real life, because Minecraft music's really good. Um, like this video, if you really did enjoy this build, I'd love you to do that. Comment down below what else would you like to see next. I'd be really, really interested to see what else you want me to see next. Subscribe if you want to see anything else by me. Um, if you make this, 
and you want to show me a picture of it, follow me on Twitter at TSMC360 and check out the cards in the description below for all of my other builds because we are working on a lovely little city here as we piece it together piece by piece. We have all sorts of like houses. These are nice little townhouses. We have a Domino's Pizza. We have a barbershop, petrol station, the regular things that you'd find in like a, a nice city or maybe even like a big town and we have a big giant public park over there and everything here has a tutorial and you can find those like i said above the card system in the description below that's my trampoline park right here that's one of the weirder things that i've built along with planet express kind of weird to put them both together planet express over there from futurama so oh we also have a theme park too um sat over there in the distance so if you enjoyed this like i said check out my stuff all of this will be in the cards in the description below i hope you did and thank you very much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video